U.S. military bases are already being targeted by Iranian ballistic missiles in the Middle East. U.S. personnel were injured in a ballistic missile attack on Al-Assad Air Base in Iraq last Saturday, two U.S. officials said. The attack resulted in minor injuries, the official said, though it was not immediately clear how many personnel had been injured. U.S. Central Command confirmed the attack and said in a statement that a number of U.S. personnel are being evaluated for traumatic brain injuries. The use of more powerful ballistic missiles, far rarer than rockets or one-way attack drones, comes at a time of growing tension in the region as the Israel-Hamas war passes 100 days. The White House declared that the U.S. is taking the attack over the weekend on a facility in Iraq that is home to U.S. personnel, which was carried out by Iran extremely seriously. The White House Deputy National Security Advisor John Finer said on Sunday that the attack constituted a real danger as the strike was extremely serious. According to Feiner and the Pentagon, air defense systems intercepted most of the missiles launched at the base. The Islamic resistance in Iraq, an informal group of militants with ties to Iran, claimed responsibility for many of the attacks against U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria. The use of ballistic missiles in these strikes represents an escalation in the regional unrest as attacks were formally conducted using drones and less sophisticated rockets.